everyone and welcome to Star Dew Valley. We're going to be starting a new run through the game today. I have asked my Twitch subscribers what game they wanted to see. We talked about Battle Brothers, we talked about XCOM, we talked about a lot of uh, strategy games, a lot of um, action games, and then everyone went, you know, Star Dew Valley sounds great. So, uh, we're going to start a new game and we're going to play Star Dew Valley. It was a surprise to me, too. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to get all this set. When this is all set, uh, we will talk about what we've done and what we've changed and which farm we're going to pick. So we'll see you in just a minute. All right, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, friends of the Internet. Our name is Hill. My name is Hill Home, so that made sense. We're going to go with Rustic Ridge Farm because one of the farms I have never played... Uh, is the Hilltop Farm. I have done, I think, almost every other farm. Uh, I've done the original farm. I've done the river farm. I've done the, the forest farm. I've done the beach farm. Uh, I've not done the the wilderness farm, which is, I, as far as I understand it, the same as the uh, the the top option, the, the default option farm, just with monsters attacking you at night. So I haven't done that one. And I've not yet tried Four Corners, but I think Four Corners would be best done if it was done in such a way it was uh, co-op, uh, four-player co-op in particular. So, uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to do the ridge top farm here as we are currently all set up to do. And uh, the name of our farm will be Rustic Ridge Farm. One of my favorite things in life is Prime Rib, so we are going to go with that. Uh, we are going to keep the intro on here. And um, in addition to that, I think... We're not going to skip the intro. We're going to watch the intro, which I don't often do, but we're going to watch it today. Ooh, it's very exciting. Our journey into Stardew Valley begins once more. Oh, look, it's Grandpa. And for my very special grandson. A letter. Mm. I want you to have this sealed envelope. I love that cutlass, by the way, over the fireplace. Grandpa, you could have left me the cutlass, brother. No, 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 don't don't open it yet. Have patience. Patience, the one thing I struggle with in life. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. It's true. That day comes for all of us. He's not wrong. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. A lack of purpose. A lack of fulfillment. I mean, that's not mentioned, but, you know, that's what he means. When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. You have to wonder how many years pass by between uh, this moment and when you actually go. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. One assumes 20. XX. I suppose you could take that to mean a random intervening amount of time. Ah, yes, the corporate JoJo lifestyle. I love, how, I love how clean these desks are. I use clean sarcastically. Little terminated sign there. There's JoJo Cola on the floor. Ooh. This place has seen better days. The poor skeleton on the right side. The cameras, of course, monitoring like all of your work. Are you actually working? Are you doing things functionally? being a productive employee. Let's read. Dear Hill, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. There's a song there. We won't sing it, but there's a song there. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Rustic Ridge Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you will honor the family name, my boy. Good luck! Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old codger for me, will ya? Now, Lewis is uh, an interesting character. <laughs> Kind of a schmuck, really, isn't he? There's the bus. It's odd to see the bus uh, driving without Pam driving it, by the way. I love this little background scene. Very, very hilly in the background. 
And then we get over to uh, to Stardew Valley itself, and uh, of course, you know, Valley sort of denotes lack of hills, but we've chosen the Hilltop Farm, so we will have hills, by golly. We will have some hills. Hello! You must be Hill. Well, hello, Robin. How are you? I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up. The farm's right over here. Follow me. We have followed automatically and not had to input a single command. This is the first time I've seen this farm, by the way. I have no idea what to expect. This is Rustic Ridge Farm. Oh, well, it's uh, certainly rustic. And ridgy. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Not a lot of it, apparently. <laughs> With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. You know what we need to get cleaned up in no time? The greenhouse. That's what we need to get cleaned up in no time, Robin. Just saying. And here we are, your new home. Oh, it looks fabulous. Ah, the old house looking good. Ah, the new farmer! Hello, Lewis. Good day. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. How long has he been mayor, anyway? Like, forever? You know, everyone's been asking about you. Oh, have they? Well, I'm popular already. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal! How about you give me uh, some help to start out with, then? <laughs> so, moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Well, it fits the theme, Rustic Ridge Farm. You know, I felt like uh, that's, uh, that's a solid choice, then, hey? It could use some work. Rustic is one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt. I mean, she's not wrong. A water dish on the left. Don't listen to her, Hill. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> anyway, you must be tired. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you want to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Would they? I'm not sure. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just toss it in this box and I'll come by during the night to collect it. When does Lewis sleep, then? I mean, he's out all day, and apparently he comes by after 2 a.m. to pick up your stuff. I guess he just doesn't sleep. Well, good luck. Thanks, Lewis. Good night, I guess, even though it's like the middle of the day. Oh, there's the crow. Saving. Your progress has been saved. Ooh. Okay, I've not seen the inside of this house either before. Oh, we got a little gem crystal there. Nice, nice. It is Monday, so there's no lovely Queen of Sauce on yet, but we'll get there. Living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for you. This one's for all you greenhorns. Chop wood and search for wild forage dirt and some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Okay, will do. Is this a lamp? I think that's a lamp. Hey, parsnips! Always fabulous. New journal entry. You receive 15 parsnips. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Oh, thank Lewis. Uh, introductions. Talk to people. We've talked to 2 out of 28. Okay. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop, and then water it every day until the crop is ready. Well... That sounds like a great plan. Uh, I think what we're going to do real fast, though, because this seems a little bit loud as I'm looking at it. Let's just... Let's just turn some of this down. A little skosh here. A little skosh. So that uh, I am clearly audible without having to feel like I'm yelling all the time. And uh, you can also still enjoy the lovely music and other ambient uh, things going on. Okay? Okay. Let me know how that is. I did just get a new microphone. I've had a Yeti for a long time, a, and I got the Yeti X, which is uh, a little bit more powerful, it seems like. Uh, a little higher quality, and uh, it's not like having one with a mixer, of course, but hey, here we are. So let's just make ourselves a little, a little spot just right here, right by the house, because I frankly don't want to have to walk real far to uh, get anywhere. 
when it comes time to water and such. So we're just going to chop down a couple of trees. And we're going to get our land ready to go. And then we're going to walk around this farm because, like I said, I've not... I've not played this farm, so... Alright, here we go. Two, three, four, five. And we're just going to do that. Of course, three times. You know, I don't know of anyone who doesn't start Stardew this way. Where you just sort of make your little your little rectangle. And uh, that's how it is. Some people, I suppose, put it in rows. Like, separate rows. But it's all the same type of crop, so... I'm not quite sure... How else you would do this, really? It just seems to be the way that most people do it, and the way that makes sense to a lot of people, so... Here we are doing it that way ourselves. Now, I think this might be the rare farm where I, I might actually... Even though we don't have an animal yet, want to get a... Maybe a well or something up here. I don't think I've ever actually built that. In all of the time that i played Stardew. I don't believe I've ever pl actually placed... A well down. I, I just... I, I don't remember a time where that's been the case. Okay, so the greenhouse is actually not too far away. I think where we might want to eventually put some uh, some fruit trees, maybe. Looking for some forage. I would like to go search for some forage, but I would also like to chop down as many of these things as possible, because there is a chance we'll get some mixed seeds. And, uh, I don't know about you, but mixed seeds are pretty nice uh, early on in the game. I also have found myself of late growing a lot of the, the spring-fall sort of forage crops as well. Well, this seems to be a little interesting side area. Okay. Interesting little farm we got going on. If I was going to put things places, where would I put them? That's a, that's a great question. So there's more than one way to get down here. We have more than one staircase, as it were. Alright. You know what else is very strange after having played the new update a bit and uh, gotten to the point where you can get Espresso? To not have access to the Espresso and being able to walk faster is a little bit strange feeling. It's a little bit strange. Oh, there's some more seeds. Speaking of seeds, I am going to run into town here in just a minute. And we're going to go say hi to Pierre. And we're going to buy some seeds. Alright, so there's this area too. My goodness. This, this farm is definitely interesting. I'm not quite sure what to think about it yet. But we'll figure it out, never you fear. Oh, we're kind of stuck. <laughs> well, we'll probably get stuck for quite a while on this farm. Uh... Just trying to move around and get everything cleared out with basically zero energy. Okay, let's get looking. Ooh, we got we got a piece of forage. Ooh, and there's a... I always call them worms. It's not really a worm. It's a... I think technically it's an artifact spot, but... You will probably hear me refer to them as worms or wormies on a fairly regular basis. <laughs> it's, it's just what I do. Uh, hopefully that's not irritating for you. But uh, expect that to happen. And it will probably happen, honestly, without me even thinking about it. It, 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 will just, uh, it will just come out. Okay. Oh, there's Leia. Good morning, Leia. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Good morning, Marnie. Oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, neighbor. Harvey, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. I'm the local doctor. Yes, indeed. We have here a question mark. Ooh, everybody's uh, stuff. Lewis's birthday. Well, we don't have any peppers yet, so that's not going to work. No help wanted today. Oh, Abigail's here. Good morning, Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto the farm. Now, there are a couple people I've never married in this game. We'll talk about that in a second. Hello, you must be Hill, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Pierre, good morning. We'll say hello to you. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. Hill, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my place is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Well, that's fabulous. So we have $500. Um, let's grab... Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Well, what do we not need? Um, you know, honestly, we don't need stones. And uh, oh, we do need some of this other stuff. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to buy one type of seed. So, potatoes it is. 
I really would like to buy a cauliflower, and we'll get to that uh, probably tomorrow, hopefully. Maybe the next day. We'll, we'll get around to it. Oh, look, we are just finding flowers everywhere. Well, that's nice. I wonder if Evelyn's home. Evelyn, are you in your home? Hello, Evelyn. Oh, it's wonderful. Very kind of you. Good morning. Hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, Granny. Good morning to you. I am in search of more forage. Preferably leeks. I would like a leek. <laughs> Actually, I would like one of all of the forage, ideally. Uh, because then we can get the forage seeds. And then we can grow things. Like leeks for ourselves. Uh, mostly to give to George. Because George likes them. My inventory is still full. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to go chop down uh, another tree or two so that we could actually put some of this away in a chest and proceed with our plan to loot and, well, I don't want to say pillage, but to loot the, the bounty of nature that surrounds us. That's a good way to put it. Can, we, can I sneak past this? No. But these rocks are just going to lay here for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, rocks. It's not personal. I, I do like you, little stone friends. But uh, right now, we have bigger fish to fry. Okay? Bigger fish to fry. Now, we have ten seeds. You guys know what we're going to do. We are going to make two more rows. I know it's shocking and amazing to stop and think about making two more rows, but yet, that's exactly what we're going to do. Make two more rows. Then, of course, we have to water those two rows. Yes. Otherwise, they will not grow. And if they don't grow, then we can't harvest it. If we can't harvest it, then we have wasted $500. And I don't want to be wasting $500. Okay, now over here, we're going to make a little mixed seed, little patch. Who knows what those will end up being. Uh, we'll find out. It's a mystery. It's a mystery to me. It's a mystery to you. Uh, one day we'll know. All right, now this does take quite a bit of energy to chop down your first few trees, but goodness if we don't desperately need, desperately need a chest. Maybe we can find some random things to eat while we're out and about. All right, there we go. Now that's enough for a chest. Look how the game's like, you can sell wood. No. I mean, I could. That's true. I could sell the wood. I don't desire to sell the wood. I, I, I want to keep the wood and, you know, build things out of it, like a chest. Because then I can store things and I don't have to worry about them being in my inventory. It's hard to say no to that, you know? All right, we're just going to run around and do this for a minute. We're going to go back south here in just a second. Because, as you recall, there was that dandelion down there, and I really, really would like it. Uh, we can't cut through here for quite some time, apparently, so that is a little bit of a frustration. I'm not sure if that is a random placement or if it is, in fact, placed there every time you start this farm. I don't know. I've not played this farm, like I said. If someone in chat knows the answer to that question, though, I would be interested to, to learn. Is that giant rock blocking that that pathway every time? Is that a thing that's just part of this farm? Or uh, did the game hate me? <laughs> it honestly wouldn't surprise me if it was just the game hating me. Uh, it's okay. Stardew Valley's not really a hateful game. Uh, sometimes the randomness will get you, though. The randomness will get you. We have a lot of fiber. Yes, we do. Fiber's good in your diet. Maybe not so good in your inventory. There's not a lot early in the game that you can do with it. There's a lot you can do with it in the game, just not, you know, the first few days. Do we have any? Oh, we do. Look at that. Spring onions. Very good. I think maybe we'll eat some of those. I th Do you need some for a recipe? I, maybe you, for cooking. It is possible that for cooking that we need this. 
So, okay, so let's talk about a couple of things about the series. Number one, it's the Hilltop Farm, which I've never played. So that's fun for me, and hopefully fun for you. Uh, number two, these videos will be going out, uh, uh, hopefully somewhat regularly. I will uh, put the uh, link to them unlisted uh, for the subscribers of the Twitch channel uh, to see first, and then it will go live to the public, to you, to anyone else watching. And uh, I was trying to figure out a good way to, to sort of do that, because right now there's not a lot of benefit to being a subscriber to my Twitch channel, other than emotes. I do have some fun emo emotes, and I was like, you know, maybe I could make some extra content, and of course make it available publicly, you know, to people. But also, what we could do is uh, let them have a little bit of a, a sneak peek, as it were. So, that's what we're doing, and that's the plan there. Uh, for this particular playthrough, I'm going to do something else that I've not done. I have, uh, through the course of playing this game through the years, which I have done several times, uh, I have married several people. I have married uh, Penny, I've married Emily, I've married Haley. Uh, but there's a couple people that I've never considered for that particular role, which we're going to consider in this playthrough. So, I would like some input from you, the viewer. Should we uh, focus our efforts on becoming romantically attached to Abigail or to Maru? This is my question for you, the viewer. Uh, personally, I, either one is fine with me. Um, Abigail seems very adventurous and entertaining, and uh, Maru, Maru seems very nice. And uh, like I said, never married uh, either of them, never... Never gotten to that point in a relationship with either of them. I mean, of course, you get to the point where everyone's your friend and such, but uh, never, never pursued those interests beyond that stage, essentially. So, uh, I'm interested to know what you think we should do. Uh, and uh, there will be some other questions about that, I think, as we kind of go through, too. Like, do we focus more on, on crops? Or do we focus more on some animals? We are running out of the stamina. Okay, so let's put these things away. That is forage. That is forage. We're going to keep that. We plant those. Do we have enough energy left to plant two more seeds? Uh, we better eat one of these. Okay, now we have, I think, just enough... There we go. Just enough energy from that spring onion to successfully not pass out. <laughs> and we'll go to sleep. The other thing we're going to do in this uh, series is we're going to try to do two days per video. Two days of Stardew per video. That's the plan. Welcome to K... Was it K-O-Z-U? Or Z-V? Like, my eyesight's bad. I really can't tell if that's supposed to be a U or a V. It could be either one, I suppose, right? It's pixel art. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, station number five, anyway. Your number one source for weather news and entertainment. For the weather forecast for tomorrow, it is going to rain all day. It does rain the third day every time. Well, what's in here? Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's has got you covered. Stop by today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I believe that's uh, $2,000, I think. Hello there, just got back from fishing. You should come down and say hi. I would love to go say hi to Willy. Willy, first of all, is one of my favorite people in this game. I don't know why, he just is. I don't really have a reason. It's not like you could like interact with him a, a ton. You know, you can't he's not he's not marriageable uh or anything. But I do enjoy several of the events that happen in the course of befriending Willy. I enjoy the fact that he likes mead. Because I like mead, and I think everybody should like mead. Mead is delicious. Uh, it's a good time. Yeah, so I, uh, Willie's, Willie's a favorite. Willie's a favorite. I really don't think there's anybody in town that I don't like. I like most of the characters. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Well, today, much like the previous day, we are going to walk around. We're going to break uh, some of these smaller things out. We're going to look for even more... Even more, mostly wood is what we're looking for. Uh, wood is such a key resource in this game, and I find myself 
no matter how many times I play through the game, I always find myself in a place where I need more wood at some point. I'll have every other resource ready to go, oftentimes in, uh, up to and including iridium bars. Wow. No, no magnet. Kind of a shame. Uh, and uh, I just... I just can't get enough wood? I just can't. So I'm going to try to focus on having an area specifically at some point, once we get you know more of this cleared out, specifically for growing trees. Because, <laughs> quite frankly, I, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. And I've often wondered, can I grow trees on other screens if I plant them? Do they? Does that work? I've not. I've not ever actually looked into that. You would think after several hundred hours of Stardew Valley, I would have tried that, but no. There's many things in Stardew Valley I have never tried. We're gonna try some of them in this in this run. We we definitely are. What's I was trying to make in my 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 uh my beach house a save is uh. I'm trying to make some uh, artisan things like uh, cheese presses and uh, mayonnaise makers and such. I just I just don't have wood. It's very frustrating. All right, well, let's get rid of this grass because that's easy to do. There we go. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. We have things up here. Like these amazing artifact spots. Which probably won't give me anything of use. But, hey, this is neat. So we have our own little quarry. Well, that's very interesting. Oh, we got a geode! Oh, well that is fun times. And it provides us with a source of copper very early on without having to go to the mine. Well, well, well. That is something. There is a part of me, in all honesty, that is tempted, sorely, to just sell the copper. Although I'm not sure how much copper is worth, and so I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But I would like to get some cauliflowers. Uh, I really would. With, I need to get that going. I also need to get some other crops going because... Gosh darn, we are going to have to put some stuff in the community center, and, uh, yeah, that is an important thing to pay attention to. You know, I don't know if I, I don't think I remember to hit remix on the uh, community center options. I think we just had the default ones. I'm okay with that. It would be a little more exciting if we had done that, but I really don't know. And at this point, I'm too invested to go back and restart if I didn't, so... Whatever we have is what we have. <laughs> Alright, well, let's take a quick run through the the forest here. Keep our eyes out for forage. We have been starting to feel exhausted already, so there's not much else we can really do today. Except run around and look for forage. Oh, there's some right there. We have a nice-looking wild horse radish. Uh, we can sell that clay, I think. All right, another horse radish. Very good. That's actually perfect because... Hello, Leia. Good morning. Hello, afternoon. Sorry. Hello. Hello, neighbor. Hello. Yes, it's lovely to see you, too. Uh, we are in sore need of storage, and I keep forgetting that because it's the very beginning of the game. We have no extra room. None whatsoever, and I am going to forget that for quite some time. Probably the first thing I buy, typically, is that backpack upgrade size uh, booster because I am terrible. I am absolutely terrible at remembering otherwise. Now we will need we will need clay for things to the beach before five. Oh dear. Willie, I don't know if we're going to make it before five, man. There's just so much to do. And we also walk really slowly. 
Wow, a silver. We got a silver flower already. Look at that. Okay, so I think the only summer forage, uh, summer forage, spring forage that we're missing is a leek. The leek is the one that vexes me the most. Nothing in the garbage. It's a shame. That is a shame. Aha! Oh. Hello, Willie. It's good to see you. Oh, he even has his pipe out. Good man. Ahoy there, son! Heard there was a new comrade down. Good to finally meet you. Hello, Willie. Good to meet you, too. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Well, good for you. I finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. That's kind of funny. We'll talk about that in a second. I hear I wanted to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me. The art of fishing stays alive. And maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Do 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 do. Hooray, we got a fishing rod. You received a bamboo pole. Oh, he looks sad. And there's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Uh, fishing is one of the things I love in this game. Oh, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say. And back to the pipe. No, anyway, I just like I just like Willie. He's, he's a good guy. Uh, Willie, listen, I would love to fish, but I am very tired, and also I was hoping that there might be perhaps a, a clam or something on the beach. Here we go. We found one. Yes, more clay. Oh, very exciting. Should we try to fish? Uh, we could. We could catch a fish or two. I would uh, perhaps enjoy that. And also uh, getting some uh, leeks, of course. I would like a leek. It is true. Now, over here, almost uh, always, uh, you can check these garbage cans without fear. Because no one's ever around. It's a good time. Uh, Clint, how are you? Hello. Say hello. Er, hi. I'm Clint. Clint may be the most awkward person in the entire town. Oh, I cannot actually sell you the clay? I was hoping to get it out of my inventory, Clint, and you have failed me. Darn, Clint. You could have been useful, and uh, you weren't. Hello, Abigail! I'm not in a good mood right now? Okay, well, I'm going to fish if that's alright. Is that okay with you? I'm going to stand here and fish next to you. We'll pretend that we have already become friends. How does that sound? Ooh, maybe we can get a platinum uh, iridium fish out of this? Maybe? Oh, no, we failed. A sunfish. You know what we're going to do? We're going to eat that. Hopefully we can get to a new level of fishing soon. Uh, Pam, I'm sorry. I'm fishing right now. I can't really move. I only have so much energy. You know? You can only do so much. Bloop. Yes, a hit! What are we catching? That is a great question. I have no idea. Another sunfish. Alright, well let's just leave it at that for now. Oh, there's Maru. Hello, Maru. Good day. Oh, aren't you the new one who just moved to I am. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hello. It's lovely to meet you as well. Oh, look. We found more flowers. Uh, I would like to cut all of that bushes down, but uh, we don't have any room for the items that we might find. So we'll leave those for tomorrow, perhaps. I think fishing will be on the docket for day three. Fishing and foraging. Foraging and fishing. Selling more items and... Well, Pierre's not open, so I'll we'll have to wait until Thursday. Which is a bit of a shame. Nope, oh, there's horseradish again. Yes, we'll grab that. Demetrius, hello. Greetings! I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You are most welcome. 
It is nice to officially meet you again for the first but not first time. These guys are working hard. Hard at work over there. Linus, could you direct me to some leaks? <laughs> a stranger? Hello. Hello, Linus. Linus, would you like a horseradish? That's a great gift. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, Linus likes most forage. I think coconuts are his favorite. Oh, there's a leak. Oh, that is just perfect. Hello there. Oh, yes. So that's one of everything. We now have one of every kind of forage for the spring. This is lovely. Well, let's put mm, several of these things away. I think we're going to sell that. Sell that. We're going to sell these things also. Very nice. Do I need this? Maybe for a little while still. Yes. And we have to refill our watering can. Sell, 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 sell. Very good. Now, there is a river on our farm. I'm going to guess, like most of the rivers on the farms, uh, it's, a, it's a trash river. But maybe, just maybe, we can catch a fish or two. So let's... Let's just give that a try. I'm, I'm going to guess it's not going to work out well for us, but we'll see. You never know. I didn't realize that there was a... Uh... Indeed, Driftwood. Well, that's a shame. I did not realize that there was a water feature on this farm. I mean, I knew the, uh, the river farm, of course, had rivers. But I did not know that the hilltop farm would. So that's kind of nice. I thought it would just have a couple ponds or something where you could refill your, your watering can because, of course, you're going to have places where you can refill your watering can. That goes without saying. It is currently 8.30 in the game. The end of our second day in our journey through Stardew Valley. The real question is how far... Oh, is that a lot of onions? The real question is how far will we play... Do we try to do all the new game, end game stuff even? I, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. We'll decide when we get closer to that point. We got a gold onion. That is pretty nice. Maybe we should just... We're just going to eat that now so we can fish for a little bit here. 23 energy. That is almost four casts. Each cast, I believe, is eight. We're going to do a little fishing here by Leia's house. I do enjoy the fishing minigame. I I know that not everyone does, and perhaps fishing is not super exciting for you guys to watch, but I think it's a great way to make money early in the game. So I do it a lot in the first year. And then I would say after the first year, not so much. After the first year, I focus much more on growing my growing my crops and things. We got a bream. Is a bream a fish that we might need? I don't know. I just sort of hoard as many things as possible in all honesty <laughs> until the community center opens and I'm like what do I need again? Because I never remember. I never remember. Oh, we want that treasure chest I think. Let's get this all the, almost all the way there. Oh, there was... There's some real uh, trust in my fishing skills to recover out of that treasure chest, huh? We almost lost this fish two times. Ooh, a chub. I, do, I think we do need a chub. Wow. Okay. Plant in the spring. I, I don't know that I care about that. Rice doesn't sell for much. I'd rather have the coal, I think. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this driftwood also, so that we can fish again. Which will be the last thing, I think, for the day, given our energy is practically zero. And we caught algae. Um, let's eat the algae. <laughs> Never mind, one more cast. One more cast. I would really like to hit level two fishing by the end of day three. Level two, level one. Whatever. The first upgrade. Oh, I think we all start at zero, so I guess technically it's level one, isn't it? 
Yeah, I think so. No, no, we don't need cola. We need a fish. Please. One fish. Just just bite onto the line. Thank you. So that I may catch you, and it would be sublime. I'd be very excited. Oh, did we get a perfect? We did! A perfect bream! What a day. What a way to end the day. What a way to sell a fish. <laughs> we are going to sell the gold uh, bream, of course. Uh, which will sell for more money than the regular one. We'll keep the regular one in case I need it for the community center. And that is lovely. Wouldn't it be lovely? Yes, it is lovely. Here we go. It is almost midnight. The, the witching hour. Let's sell this. And we'll put the rest of everything else in the chest. All the rest of you in the chest. Oh, we're going to keep that. Chest, 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 chest. Chest, 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 chest. Because it's going to rain tomorrow, I'm only going to fish. That's pretty much... Expect day three to be fishing. That's what we're going to do? Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Oh, lovely. We have leveled up mining. We can now make a cherry bomb. Oh, very nice. We've leveled up foraging. We can now craft wild seeds and field snacks. Field snacks are pretty good early on in the game. And our axe is more proficient. Trees now sometimes drop seeds. We've leveled up our fishing. We have more proficiency at fishing. What a lovely day. We did not level up farming or combat, but hey, I'll take it. How much money do we make? We made enough money that we can, in fact, buy some more seeds from Pierre on Thursday. Get those planted, and hopefully also on Thursday we'll know... Uh, what we need for the community center, because I can never remember. <laughs> I can never remember. Friends, that has been two days of Stardew Valley. Thanks for being here with me. And we will pick it up there in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time.